Hello, it's Tamara Hunter, and today is day number 326 of 365 Days of Awesome. Celebrate success through service. And I have one of my coaches, Coach Vicki, here today as our service hero. Yes, all the way from Australia. <laughs> it's amazing how the internet can connect us and help us to actually create global movements. And that is what today our service hero is all about. My coach, Coach Vicki, from the Next Impactor, the global Next Impactor, I actually won. And in winning, I was given the gift of being able to work with this amazing woman. And I am just so humbled and so grateful. And I cannot say welcome enough to you. I, I mean, I'm so excited that we were able to make this work with the time differences and the day differences. And and you are just so amazing and beautiful and welcome. Thank you so much for having me, Tamara. And it's been such a big pleasure to work with you. Um, yes, you deserve to win. And yes, you won and you continue to win. Um, because since the uh, end of the show, you've just been so amazing, impacting not just your community, you've been impacting the world. And I'm blessed. I'm blessed to be part of um, a, a movement like this. Thank you. Thank you. We have some people already with us. Uh, we have Carol Brown saying, good evening. Good evening, Carol. Carol is actually one of our volunteers and one of our ambassadors. She's helping with our Giving Tuesday event we'll be talking about. Uh, she's saying hello to you. Uh, Hi, we, have, <laughs> we have Kenny. Kenny, welcome. Uh, grateful to have you with us, or Elfie, and, uh, you know, we have Amy Morrison in the house, it looks like, too. Amy was there at the event. Now, you got involved with with uh, the, the Global Next Impactor because of the fact that you met Lauren Harris, and, and you had him on your magazine and and how did that all start it's just fascinating to me when i think about how someone from chicago could affect you know get to know someone from australia and then someone from southern california ends up you know in between the two yep. working with all of you oh <laughs> uh, yeah it's just been amazing um the um magazine platform has opened so many doors that i can't uh, i've stopped counting it's just the 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 grace of god i'll say um i started the magazine i started publishing uh the magazine i, I published books and then i came up with the idea i would love to to um start publishing magazine monthly magazine uh to discourse or to share stories of adversity to achievement of my stars, of people that I pick, people that are not widely known, and then interview them, publish the interview, put pictures there. Um, we have so much of negativity around in the media, and I just wanted to do something uh, that is quite uh, not common these days anymore, which is to talk about uh, how people, uh, ordinary people, they've been through adversity and now they're doing really well. So it's not just about their, you know, you know, shouting or screaming about how they are doing currently. It's more about talking about their journey from the, the adversity point to now they're doing well so it's all about um you know teaching or uh preaching hope to those people who are currently um, going through one adversity or the other so i started the magazine and um i just do my own little bit you know in, i don't really do much of promotion but i just get i just come up with topics and i post it out there for any entrepreneur speakers or um anyone that wants to to share maybe just few sentences about that topic 
And one of the people on my uh, Facebook page actually saw saw the, the, the topic and she had something to share. So she uh, sent us in and out of like maybe 120 that I received, um, I was only able to, to um, publish, I think, about four of them. So one of these ladies um, lives in Chicago, I think, somewhere, somewhere. And then she's a friend to, to Lauren. So when she got a magazine, she saw, because my magazine is a little bit different from, it's not like, it's not like a bloggy kind of magazine. Yeah, like most. It's more like a real magazine, but online. Mm -hmm. You know, the way you open it, the noise that it makes, it's like you're reading a real magazine, but it's uh, it's on it's online. Mm -hmm. So the the beauty, the the um, attention to detail of the magazine actually attracted Lauren because this lady saw a you know a post and she was excited, so she shared it to I think about thirty of our groups that she belonged to. Oh, wow. And Lauren happened to be one of, in one of our groups, one of the 30 groups. And then Lauren sent me messages, emails, <laughs> and uh, he found me on LinkedIn. He sent me messages and because I had lots and lots of stuff that I'm into, I, I struggle, you know, getting to emails. By the time I have the time, I have like hundreds and hundreds of emails on top of one another. So some emails just get missed along the way. And I think some of the emails got missed. But the LinkedIn message that he sent to me, I was able to read through and I was like, who is this guy? I'd like to meet him. I love people like that. You know, the persistence and the, yeah. and, you know, in his email, he, he was like, okay, I'd like to have a chat with you. I'd like to be your magazine. I'm like, okay, yeah, I, I like that too, but I need to know who you are. Because, <laughs> uh, it's true. Um, I'm always very careful um, mm -hmm. to to do my own research. To uh, I'm, I'm spiritual, so I mm -hmm. tend to want to listen. Not just have anybody in this magazine. It's not just for anybody. Uh, it's my hard work, and I, if I'm going to have you in that magazine, I want to be sure that you don't have skeletons in your in your cupboard that will come back and bite me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Oh so, yeah. Um, I'm like, okay, yep, yep, yep. And I'm like, okay, let's have a talk. I need to have a chat with you, not just, you know, through Zoom. So I want to be able to see you. It's not just what you're telling me because you tell me what you want me to hear. Mm -hmm. Not really what is, I need to read your face, your body language, everything works for me. So I, uh, yeah, we met through Zoom. We talked and Five minutes into our discussion, I knew, yeah, I'm going to have him in my magazine. And um, towards the end of the discussion, it was like, he kept on trying to sell himself to me. You know how Lauren is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Was just I like, so, to... <laughs> <laughs> so he was like, okay, so what can I do to get into your magazine? I'm like, you had it five minutes ago. Oh. You know, and um, yeah, so it's just been a friendship developed from that day on. And um, he featured and then he invited me to be one of the coaches for the next impactor. And that's how we met. And I met so many other brilliant, dynamic human beings uh, through uh, the the, um, the events or the uh, competition, which has been right. so great. What an incredible story. And you know what I love about this story too? It is that it, it, it's, it's inspirational in that if you really believe, if you believe, I, you got to give Lauren a lot of credit because oh, yeah. he believed that he needed to meet you, that you needed, he, he needed to be involved with exactly. you and here yeah. is uh, a, a global magazine that halfway around the world in the land down under and he's in chicago illinois you know the chicago land area and he continually was was 
dripping that information and not taking the the lack of even communication because like you said you're busy that happens a lot and and what do a lot of people do they think oh well i haven't heard from that person that person is not interested yeah it does mm. yeah yeah I mean, you just you just didn't see it there was yeah. no yes or no there was just i didn't know that you were trying to get a hold of me and that's a great story for a lot of people to be hearing because that created that chain of events thank you lauren that chain of event has now helped people that and and is helping people that are affected by cancer i mean when you when you look at that you look at the the dominoes involved it it it, you know it's almost like chills because of the fact that anything is possible if you believe yeah Mm, exactly exactly so so your experience all right so we we have the next impactor uh then there's the the five coaches there's like a a couple hundred people that say Mm -hmm. yes i'm interested and they put in their videos and 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 the game begins and it has lots of different twists and turns and and Mm -hmm. and you know it's like a little bit of a race car, you know, yeah. track in a way, you know, a roller coaster. And mm-hmm. then you get to the top 20 or top 50. And then that's when the teams, because everybody was, when are the teams going to come around? Mm-hmm. And you were, you got your team, your, your team was announced and mm-hmm. you had a very interesting makeup of your team, didn't you? <laughs> I did. <laughs> I did. I did. Ten wonderful women were picked for me. And um, I, I, yeah, it's just sometimes I look at that experience from the beginning to the end. It, it's It's got the hands of the creator of the universe in it. It's not, it, it's just not designed by any human being. It, it is uh, the creator that, that made it all happen because these beautiful women they are hard working they are entrepreneurs they are out there doing greater mighty things in their neighborhoods in their communities and now i mean we got together and it's just been amazing sometimes i'm like did i really do much to coach you guys but the fact that they they are just brilliant in working together um Mm. everyone you know like when you look at a car for instance you, you look at the engine, you like look at the, the tires, you look at the every part of the car, they are all important. If mm-hmm. one if one part doesn't work, if battery is flat, the car doesn't move. Mm-hmm. A few weeks ago, uh, I got into my garage to drive to work and then my tire, one of my tires has gone flat, totally yeah. flat, I couldn't drive it. My car is a Tesla. So it's, um, y- y- there's nothing you can do. And mm-hmm. I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you know, this powerful, beautiful car. Now look at you. <laughs> you know, it's the same thing if the engine is, uh, the, the engine isn't working. The same thing, nothing is, even a tiny wire that connects one thing to the other. If that mm-hmm. is off, it's not going to work. And I yeah. see my team as um you know we have all different parts in that team some that are very good very creative some that are quite good in supporting the other members of the team some that are very you know they have the ability to to make things work you know when everybody's feeling flat that person can come and say okay we, we're gonna do this and, and and another member of the team uh, tiana ross that uh, she's so good in organizing everyone. So I just sit back. I'm like, okay, <laughs> wow. <laughs> right, right. You guys, you're making my job so easy. I mean, I'm so grateful to have all of you in my team. So um, so the design isn't by, uh, wasn't by, by Lauren or by Jeff, but by mm-hmm. the creator of the universe, who just right. brought these beautiful women into my into my group into my heart you know and um we're still very much connected because here we have we have a book uh Mm -hmm. together 
And right. when I told my uh, book cover graphic designer about the book cover, I'm like, okay, I would like you to think about a mother hen and the chicks. Oh, so uh -huh. I'm not gonna say more than that to you. So come up, bring, give me something. Think about mother hen and chicks, and uh, uh, chicks, and then just come up with something. And when she gave me this, <clears throat> I'm like, yes, you capture what I wanted. And there is a there it is there. So um, and the other part of, of this story is also about the um, the not for profit organization that we that we chose. Right. That my team actually chose. I came, you know, the first meeting we had. I came with my own plan of action. I have a, a not for profit organization which looks after. Um, young people, um, you know, teach them skills regarding life, you know, um, um, encouraging them or empowering them and giving them all these skills so that they can keep tapping into it as they grow rather than, you know, giving to depression and um, drugs and whatever else to cope. So I have my, my not-for-profit organization, which I needed um, some help, you know, some group of people mm -hmm. to come in and just, you know, um, see my dream and just make it work. Right. But during the meeting, the girl said, no, we, we wanted, um, you know, an orphanage. Because some of the group members there, they've been through um, childhood hunger. Right. So they know what it is to go through, um, and some of them have been through uh, one foster home to another. So they actually have the, the, the empathy for orphanage, uh, orphans, you know. So mm -hmm. the orphanage became the thing that they wanted to, to adopt and work with. And I'm like, okay, whichever mm -hmm. one, I'm, I'm all for it. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the ladies there, she also runs an orphanage, but we can't pick her because she's part of our team. So the obvious one was the, the Christ Orphanage. And this orphanage I've had a long, long time um, link with. It's been over 10 years now that I've been raising funds for this orphanage. And just look at what happened. It wasn't by my design. It wasn't my plan. It was, I just believe it's the creator of the universe that made it, made it all happen. And, and the, the nonprofit that you chose, that was actually the, the nonprofit that was represented on my team. There was a teammate that was mine that was, you know, there. She was under her name, but like me, uh, she had her nonprofit. And so what a small world. And you had nothing to do with bringing Absolutely up that, that when you told that story on stage, mm. the, the, the day of the event, um, yeah. I, I was like, did I hear her right? That that you really did not know when you talked about the fact of the story of 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 your child. I mean, I know that you know if you want to share it a bit here, please do because I'll tell you I cannot hear it enough because this is how small of a world it is. Yeah. I get chills every time I think about it. Yeah. <laughs> It's, um, you know, so I, I mean, I'm still kind of, each time that I think about this beautiful experience regarding the, the global, the next global impactor, I'm just blown away. Um, I, I, I look at my team picking Christ Orphanage as their non-for-profit organization to to raise awareness for and raise funds for. And I'm like, what's going on, God? Because it, I just have to ask that question. What is going on? Yes, for a long, long time, um, years ago, I got married, couldn't have babies. And um, as an African woman, it's expected 
you you get married nine months later you have your babies if that's not the case you be looked down at you be um, people will start judging you start asking questions and then the the questions the the look down at and everything like that start making you to feel like a failure that's in our culture and it doesn't matter whether you live in nigeria or somewhere else um mm. it's the same and at that time i was living in south africa and um i mean i had someone actually coming to me and saying to me just because we had a tiny little disagreement and she said to me uh, which which is a curse she actually cursed me um. saying that you will hear you'll be hearing about all the people having children you will never have children i'm like what was i watching the movie or what right, it was right. quite it was just so real and and I'm not sure if you're a if you're a Christian or whatever, but if you remember, there's a story in the Bible about Hannah, mm -hmm. Hannah and uh, Penias or something like that. Hannah got married first, and then she couldn't have babies. Her husband married another woman, who started popping up kids, <clears throat> not just kids, uh, boys, and right. then every time she popped out kids, she kept on um, degrading Hannah making her feel like a failure and then it got so bad for hannah one day she went into a temple she'll be back remember we're we're streaming live from different places in the united states and uh in the united states and australia so here she comes All right, you're back. I have uh, to call my number. No worries. Yeah, I mean, sorry. <laughs> not a problem. So she was in the temple. So she was in the temple praying, you know, she, crying, praying that, yeah, this is enough. You know, this pain is enough. Help me, God. Give me a child, blah, blah, blah. And the, the um, priest came to her. I think the priest his name was Samuel, that she was going to have a baby by this time next year. She'll bring the baby in and blah, blah, blah. And that was what happened. And that day was as if I was Anna and I, I did the same thing that Anna did. I went into the church, my church, and I prayed, I cried, I asked her, what's the problem? Why, why aren't you answering me? Anyway, I, I promised him, I told him, yes, I will do whatever I can to to help orphans, you know, just give me my own child, blah, blah, blah. And um, yes, eventually got pregnant and um, had my daughter. And you know what? I had a child in Chicago there, a Cook County Hospital. Um, <laughs> It's so surreal. I mean, I know. I, it's I so well, when you were after you had said that, and then you were we met, and then you were going there on the way to the airport, and I'm like, yeah. oh, full circle. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> circle. <laughs> yeah. So, and um, it, I I forgot about my promise. You know, we tend to do that a lot, don't we? Right. Um, life we happens, wanted, yeah. you know so i'm like okay uh, i my life became busy because after my daughter not quite two years later i had my son and then i had my last child a baby girl um then i i was in uni uh, i was working my mm -hmm. husband was was uh, running his business i was helping him so my life became so busy that became the last, I wasn't even thinking about, I forgot, totally forgot. Right. So one day that I told my daughter this story that I've been telling you, and then she said, oh, mom, you know, we have people that come over almost every weekend. We have people come into our house, lots of people, you know, we have meals, we watch movies, we do stuff. And um, she said, you know, why don't you get people to, to contribute a little bit of money, which we can send off to an orphanage in Nigeria, I'm like, oh, oh my goodness, I made this promise. So that night, I actually called my father and I said, I need you to do some research for me. I need um, to connect with an orphanage. Mm -hmm. An orphanage, not just anywhere, I need a place where I, I know that by 
helping and contributing to help them, it's gonna go to a good cause, not not somebody using the orphanage for their own personal gain. Mm -hmm. And um, I need you to do whatever you can, you know, go visit the place, check the place, and I can trust my father anytime, any day. Right. And that was what he did for me. Um, he checked out like 10 different ones. He came back to me and said, I have two, but I will actually recommend this one, which is the um, the Shola's one, um, Christ Orphanage. <laughs> and a um, few months down the line, I traveled down to Nigeria <laughs> checked the place, I met with the woman, met the children, it was fabulous. The following year, I took my children with me, um, you know, and another friend of mine, a Caucasian friend from Australia. And yeah, it's been a journey since then. Um, I do organize different activities, a shopping tour, um, um, you know, pyjama night, ladies pyjama night, Queen and Princess's Day, you know, which mm -hmm. is a mom and daughter's day, whereby we, we have high tea and uh, people just contribute good coin donation, which we send off to uh, the orphanage. So it's been 10 years of consistent, uh, constantly uh, doing different activities to raise funds for this orphanage. And then you're in a global contest. A oh, yeah. global gamified yeah. contest to find people that are out there making a difference in the world. Yes. You then get 10, 10 entrants, which one was two women. It was, yeah, uh, right. And so 11 women, you're the only team that had no males. Exactly. Only 11, you had 11 women the 11 women choose one of the other nonprofits that had entered the game, the yeah. contest, and lo and behold, they pick the winner of who your team is going to raise funds for, and they announce it, and then did your jaw drop on the ground? I mean... I, I, it's, I'm, still, I'm still kind of like, what's going on? You know, like... <laughs> Someone help me out, you know. It's not, it's not, it's not designed by any other person. It's, it's. This is not human being doing this. There right. is a greater hand moving the pieces and just yes. trying to fit all the puzzles together. It's beyond me. I, I can't, oh, yeah. I can't picture. I can't, you know, try and work it out in my own way, in the way I tend to want to work things out. This is totally beyond me. So I'm oh, just yeah. like, yeah, I, I know. doing it's it like, again. Yeah. It, 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 exactly. <laughs> and I am with you on this. I am 100% because my experience in it um, was that, you know, I yes, I put my hat in, my name in the hat. And in the very beginning, I didn't even know what the hat was. You know, it was like, okay, the the prize package sounded like perfect timing for what I'm doing with the nonprofit. And I thought, okay, I have no idea what this is. However, it sounds good. And so then my, my senior ambassador and I decided, yes, we were going to go ahead and enter. And the long and short of it, when I was going to Chicago, someone said to me, you know what, if you're meant to win, if, if you're meant to win, you will. And if not, you'll win. You'll still win because you know what you're doing. You know why you're doing it. And, um, and so what, what happened was exactly the same thing. It was like I had to just calm down and be, okay, however this works, however it ends up happening there is a greater purpose and 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 you know and i have to say i've got the, the trophy right here you know and i look at her and i was just not long ago i was on a show and i i actually talked about the fact that the at the top you know you had miss impactor um holding you know the globe so global impactor and, and I was like, you know what? And when I was talking to her, I said, I look at this every day. I have it right here. I look at this every day and I think 
my job will not be done until I can close my eyes. And at any point I put my hand here. And if that person, those people in that area here that they have cancer and they can't get a buddy, my job's not done because you know, to be the first global impactor means that we need to take it global. And that yes, was, where, and, and when you and I visited afterwards mm. and, and we, we were able to, before you left, I actually stayed longer. I figured one of two things. I have friends in Chicago. I'd never been there. Or if I win, I will be there so that I can meet with you know, hopefully you and any of the other coaches to be able to at least um, have some one on one time. And we were able to have some amazing bonding one on one time. And it really meant a lot to me that the discussion, the, um, you know, the teaming, the bond to say, yes, we are going to do this. We are going to take this global that no one has to feel isolated and alone and afraid and in the middle of the night wondering if anybody cared and 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 we will we will change the way cancer is done throughout the world and and the the fact that we had that time and that you were able to look at me with those amazing beautiful eyes of yours and that sweet smile and just that confidence because you have been global you have i mean i still in true disclosure still need to get my passport because i know that but see i am global right now we are global and that's why i'm i i i know i can with a surety say yes and last Wednesday, this last Wednesday, we had a meeting of our volunteers and we were rolling out the beta of which is not live yet, but it is at a point where here soon we will be able to roll out the very first version of how we are going to take this global this year, this year, and we can then build it from there. And the fact that you were able to, and I already flashed up the, the image, that you were able to, with your beautiful magazine, um, that is seen throughout the world. It is a global magazine, making a global difference, Global Achievers magazine. And you were able to immediately, I mean, people were asking in the very beginning, okay, yeah, is this really real? Is Are you really going to be working with these people? Yes, I am. And yes, it is. And yes, uh, this is the September cover of, of your magazine that is now out there. And I mean, less than a dollar, guys. You can, you can, it's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. And it, has other articles from other global impactors that have stories and you are now helping to create the first of three books that I'm going to be involved with three yeah. yes she had the book with her team and I have to say that was genius and that was beautiful. And I loved it that you guys were able to have those there and you were able to share your experience through a book that will forever be a legacy for team Vicky. And then yeah. you opened it up. So for everyone in the team. Pardon? Everybody in the team, everyone for everyone in the team, including yeah. the coaches. And of course, I, I offered it to everybody, but of course, um, majority didn't take up the offer, which as entrepreneurs, um, it's something that I struggle with, you know, that when people get opportunities, they just can't be bothered or they have all the things that they believe that it's more important. And um, where what I only asked for was 500 to 500 to 800 words that you can type in your phone, in, mm -hmm. you know, while I work on your break, while, you know, instead of watching TV, spend 30 minutes to just put your thoughts on paper. 
500 words. And mm-hmm. you never know where all this is going. Nobody knows. But when, you know, when people talk about luck, oh, that person is lucky. Uh, that person is lucky. They don't know so much work that goes into people getting themselves prepared for when opportunity do come on board. You know, now you are going to be, you're part of the next impactor, our legacy. Mm-hmm. There will never be second season. I mean, there will never be first season of right. the next impact of right. competition. Right. And we have this. Come on, people, let's do this. But unfortunately, I only have limited people say, oh, me, 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 which was good. And I'm happy with that. But what I've done also was to open it up more when the people that I wanted didn't take up the offer. I'm like, okay, anyone who has, uh, a, a, you know, a little bit of experience or anything to do with the next impact job, you attended the event and you felt like, wow, write something about your experience. You mm-hmm. dropped out, you know, through whatever. Just put your put your thoughts together and you won't believe it. The people that didn't make it, the people that uh, attended the event, the grand finale event, were the ones that responded to me much more than the uh, competitors themselves, which says a lot to me. That And I, I remember that I put this up on our page, the Next Impactor page, that there is a, a story in the Bible I, I use a story a lot. <laughs> so there's a Bible, there's a story in the Bible about which it was Jesus that, that told the story about um, somebody who put an event together. Banquet. Beautifully well laid out. Invited guests didn't attend. Mm. They were busy with other things. And then it was like, oh my goodness, I have all this place, you know, the food, everything, entertainers and everything. And all my guests refused to attend. Now I need people to come in. So this person sent out the, the um, workers and said, go out there, invite everyone that you can see and bring them in. Let's have a party. And that was what happened. And that is what is happening with our legacy. Mm, I love it. I love it. In, in fact, yes, um, uh, I know a, a couple of the people that you're talking about that that attended and that they were like, oh, yes, I, that sounds great. And like, OK, I'm working on it right now. And I'm like, oh, this is great because the 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 um, and and uh, Noel she she's been commenting she's from your team and the finale was amazing and you know it the the energy in the room of the finale was uh, i don't know that i've ever been in at an event ever i mean i've been to a lot of things in my life and and uh oh uh oh she will be back Oh, okay. Just one moment. I took you down. That's my fault. Here we go. One thing about this app, if I hit something, they've got a, this is on a beta now. And so it's slightly different than it used to be. And so we here we are. Okay, so the energy of the room and, and just everything that was going on, it was pretty incredible when you had so many people that were all about serving. Mm. and had causes and and missions and stories to to share and so the fact that you did the next impactor our legacy in regards to the very first uh the first the first next impactor Mm. always yes yes it will always be and one of my ambassadors and volunteers erin uh she uh, just absolutely i love i love my 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 teammates and and uh, and I want to recognize one right now that just came in not long ago, one of our chemo buddies uh, actually one of my chemo buddies is here with us. She's got a new image, and uh, hi, Helene. <laughs> it's, it's cute. All right, 
and and so you know but i see what i i see happening right now even here and and because you're here is that many of the people that were supporting the next impact or many of our buddies many of our ambassadors many of your teammates you know they're here right now and you know what they're doing in the chat area they're talking with each other too and yep. i love that because you i believe encourage that in here that you brought all of these your the women you know and the team environments were were interesting because we did have a lot of requirements and it was a lot a lot of quick turnarounds and you were trying to get everybody engaged and then you know the it it, it taught people that are entrepreneurial and that may be running things by themselves or have teams but it taught them all to come together for a greater good and that was the nonprofit yeah. and it was beautiful what I saw on my team take place. And, and uh, you know, I will forever be grateful for the team environment because my team up to the very end, you know, at the very, very end, we were a team. And, mm -hmm. and it was really interesting what happened because uh, some of them ended up, you know, coming onto my team to say, okay, it's all about our nonprofit. And in supporting our nonprofit, and helping Tamara, then we can, everybody will win from our team. You know, we'll be able to bring our team together. And I have to say, I was really proud of that because that was the whole goal was to, you know, create these team environments and so that you could learn to work with each other. And I had people, I mean, I did have the, the, the um, orphanage from Nigeria. I had, one of my teammates that lives part of the time in Russia and part of the time in Canada. And, mm -hmm. and then a lot of Chicagoland people, you know, and then me from Southern California, I mean, and we made it work. And so now that we are a global situation too, in that I now am working with all of the coaches because of winning and you are, teaming with not only myself but you are going to be teaming with um and i love this and you guys have been talking about this recently that you're teaming also with the power of we and this oh, yes. is something that you um you actually started working with i think right around the same time or 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 uh as you did with the next impactor and that is that you're bringing helping to bring the power of we down under to help with the bullying issue and see this is again a full circle situation because what is the future project that was my nonprofit it is to help to raise the awareness and help girls that are in the junior high and high school area ages to learn self-esteem and in learning self-esteem you'll stop bullying you'll what is a bullier how do you stop it how do you how do you raise that awareness? And I know that when you were talking about your nonprofit, your nonprofit is about the life skills, right? To help with life skills programs. And so this all comes together. And when, when I think about even chemo buddies for life in playing with this, because many people may not realize However, you have a medical background. You married into a medical, you know, and you're talking about your businesses. You're also involved in the medical world. And yeah. cancer many times can be brought on by stress. And our cellular levels can sometimes be cattywankas because of things like bullying. And, you know, you think about we're having a lot more success in overcoming cancer once you receive it but wouldn't it be better if we start to have it at all yeah mm -hmm. if we stop all of this because mm -hmm. i know myself we didn't call it bullying when i was a kid but i didn't speak well i had to go through a lot of speech therapy to speak i was so shy 
I would hide behind a chair and cry if someone looked at me. It was that bad because I, I, my mouth just wasn't formed correctly. And and then I'm allergic to the sun and I had to wear headgear, you know. And so that's an awkward kid. <laughs> and, you know, in elementary school, I mean, let's just be real. And so I was really lucky to have people that were that helped me to rise above it. However, that was because they helped me through life skills and life programs, but we didn't call it that. Mm. And, and so, you know, I was able to do that. Yet later in life, I still ended up with cancer. Where did that happen? I don't know. But if we can stop this now and, and we can teach our younger kids and we can teach the, the groups that the power of we symposiums are going out there and help to encourage them to find their better selves and have the success that they're having with these kids from inner city areas that are qualifying to go to some of the best colleges now because of programs like the power of we. And you know, thank you for being so global and helping in in to affect your team's people, the the issues with the orphanages and educating our youth. How how are you feeling about this? Because this is a huge thing that you're taking on, being a global influencer, a global impactor. You are helping people throughout the world to make a difference. I know you are me. How does that feel? Um, you know what, uh, Tamara? What I do, I do it from my heart. I never look at myself as um, someone who is doing great and mighty things. And I try not to even look at it that way. Uh, I just do what I have to do and mm -hmm. uh, make myself to be available because I see this as as a gift, mm -hmm. a gift, uh, a gift to be, you know, to, to get ideas and go for it. A gift to, because I, I see it as if I'm being picked to get those ideas, I, I make it work. I, mm -hmm. I don't actually stay with it and think about it. I just go for it. And then when I run into, okay, uh, uh, an issue down the line, I ask questions. I go to mentors, I go to my coaches, I ask them, what What do I do here? I'm, I'm really stopped, you know? But if I had stopped myself from the beginning, I never go ahead and get things done like everybody else, I would know, um, you know, paralysis by analysis sets in. Right, right. So, and when, when we are, you know, when we keep doing what we've been called to do, um, it's very important not to allow our flesh to see us as, oh, we are great. Right. We are great, mm -hmm. fantastic thing that mm -hmm. nobody else. No, no, mm -hmm. it's, it's the wrong way to look at it. Right. I see it as a privilege that I've been picked, that mm -hmm. uh, those ideas come to me, that I have the strength and I have the support of my team members, of my workers, of my husband my mm -hmm. children and my friends you know that will say oh vicky well done i'm really proud of you oh, oh vicky you know or young kids that will say, oh, would like to be like you things like that makes me happy but i try not to let it take right. over and make me feel like oh i'm invincible um it's a wrong way to go um it's just the grace of god that's all that mm -hmm. i see and um, yeah. Well, most of the time too, when you're at someone like yourself, I would think, because at least I know for myself when, uh, cause I'm a kind of, I'm a big picture person. And in fact, one of like, the coaches, which is my business coach, coach Jason, he's helping me to like, okay, we need to go here. We need to focus. So what do you want to ask me? Kind of like, okay, I've listened to now. What do you really want to ask? Okay, short <laughs> Ask it short. Like, okay, yes, coach. And, and because I need that, you know, and, and so I, I know that in, 
right now being because people have asked me what is it like to feel like you know winning the first next impact or the global next impactor and i'm like i don't really know yet because i haven't had a money you know i don't have a few seconds to rub together you know it's because I, there's so much that needs to be done and if anything many times i'm the one that i have to really watch and not beating myself up for not necessarily getting some of the things done that I, I feel like they need to be done now. And it's like, okay, you need to breathe. You need to remember to, you know, to, to do these things because, it, you know, you can keep going and going and get so many things done. And then what do you have left? And, and I'm, I'm bringing this up because we're going to be bringing up another thing that you're doing because you're so busy and you, and you get this because you just started your next season of the Vicki O show. And this is an international show. And you just had uh, uh, Misty Lane uh, for the first show. And I know that you filmed it while you were there. And then you and I filmed and at some point we'll have that show out there. And, I mean, this is a produced show. You have a beautiful entrance. You have, you know, you're, you're, you're talking about issues that, that you can go out there and really, I mean, Misty's show and, and, and powerful, powerful. And, and, and then on top of it, you have how many books that you've created yourself? 14 now. 14. You have a nonprofit, you have businesses, you are a, uh, you, you actually have a credentials within the medical world and you are preparing to go out this next year on an international tour. You are truly a gift to this world. You are serving beyond serving, beyond serving, and you are inspiring others to do the same, including me, and giving tools to be able to do that. And how, if you were to say to someone that is saying, okay, I get it. I have a mission. I have a message. I have a nonprofit. I have a book, I have a show, I have something inside of me that I want to go out and change the world. I want to become the, the second global next impactor. I, I want to get in, involved. What would you say to someone that's watching this right now and saying, you know what, I've really been thinking about it and here, here's Vicki. She's the international coach that just has such a beautiful message and, and spirit, what would you say to them? What I will say in long and short words will be, get yourself a coach, get yourself a mentor. Not one coach, more than one, because um, people have different gifting in different areas. And that's what I do. I'm a part of several, several groups uh, that talk about things that I I'm passionate about. So I listen between the lines, I read books, I get to know how to go about uh, doing different things by learning from other people. Mm -hmm. I learn from other people. So I have coaches of my own and I have hundreds of people that I coach myself. And I coach them in the areas of um, bringing their dreams into reality it, you know mm -hmm. working with their vision you know getting them to to see the vision where where do where, where are they going what do they want um helping them to do this and then also helping people that i coach to um get their their messages out there making mm -hmm. people around to see them as an authority so through the books that I help them to publish, um, through or support them or mentor them to write and then to publish, um, you know, and that's where the show comes in, that's where the magazine comes in. So all those things will help whomever is thinking about 
getting their messages out to the world, out to the global world. It's actually my, my for, for the Global Achievers magazine and the Global Achievers Club, which is another thing that we have just recently started, which is a club for like-minded people. Um, it's right. Not, yeah. So I, I actually put it out there. Uh, it's not just another group. No, this is going to be a, a paid, um, you're going to pay just a little bit because I want to be able to teach you. If as a member of that group, teach you that when you provide services, you're not doing it for free, you get, mm -hmm. you get paid. Mm -hmm. So um, not just that alone, when you pay for something, you put whatever energy into it to make it work. You do your part. I will do my part to, to coach you, to mentor you, because that's part of being part of that group. You get free uh, mentoring, phone call, Zoom call, one a month. Um, so you pay per annum to be part of the club, and it's an exclusive VIP club for people of like mind. I love it. Um, that is a place for people who are just thinking about starting um, a business, being an entrepreneur, a serial entrepreneur, wanting to write a book, whatever your idea is. It's about coming together, helping one another out, me giving some coaching and mentoring to members every single month. Well, you've got a lot of fans that are just, I, you're going to have to go in here and, and see the comments of everybody that has been saying all sorts of amazing things about you and, and what they have gained from, from your being a part of the contest that I was just, you know, lucky and grateful that I was able to become the winner and that I get to coach with you. And, and that is beyond a gift that, you know, anybody that is considering that wants to go out and make a difference. And you know, even if, if you are thinking about becoming an entrepreneur, because Vicki knows how to do that successfully. She, she's, I mean, you, you've, you've been very successful in your business life, in your coaching life, in your, your, um, your clinical life. I, I mean, every area that you touch, you have been able to, and, and it's with your humble, I'm bragging about her right now with her listening, with Vicki listening, because, you know, third party validation, because Sometimes when you're very humble, you're not going to always put it out there. And I can tell you this, that Vicki is the real deal. And uh, Coach Vicki is the real deal. So if you're thinking about this, you want to know more, um, Can you? do you mind afterwards putting in contact, how they can get a hold of you if they yeah. want to know more? Because I have a feeling that there will be some people that will say, you know, that sounds very interesting. Maybe I should check it out. Mm -hmm. Yep, I will. I will type it in after the the show. Okay, excellent. Mm -hmm. As I, we people can find me on on Facebook, I'm usually on face when I'm not consulting. Uh, I'm usually on Facebook because I do lots of stuff there. So people can connect with me. Just send me a friend um, request, and then we we'll take you from there. Ask whatever question. I'm always available to answer if i'm consulting just wait for me i'll get back to you um, and i can i can busy. i can attest to that i know that how busy busy she is and she always does if i have a question and we're in a whole different area of the world and yet you know i want to say thank you for that since i've seen you face to face right now which is just such a, a gift um as we close and uh, come at the top of the hour what are the last, you know, pearls of wisdom that you would like to leave us all with? All I want to say, just like in the words of um, Dr. Wayne Dyer, is 
don't you die with your music still inside of you and i will add don't die with your book still inside of you it's useless to you useless to people useless to the world when you go down the grave without getting them out so you see um the way i attend to whatever idea that i have is like if I die tomorrow, I don't want this to go down with me. It's going out there. It's going out there and I'll, I'll make it work no matter what. And I tend to say that to people also, those that I interview, those people that ask me questions, and which is the reason why I encourage people to write, to write, write about your story, write about where you've been, teach people, unborn kids, let them pick up your book and read and learn from you. So don't you die with your music or your books or your ideas or your songs still inside of you. Perfect. You know, I want to say thank you for being who you are and thank you for that kind of a philosophy because of the fact that and thank you, Lauren Harris, for seeking out and not giving up on connecting with with Vicky. Because you know what? I will say this is that I have always known that there was a book inside of me. I know that many people have their book inside of them. And and I, and I felt very inspired that there was. And now with your help, I will be in two group books and then have one of my own and yep. and it it it's humbling and exciting and i cannot think of anybody that i would rather be teaming with than you my dear coach vicky you are just such a beautiful light for us all a gift to us all and yeah. i just want to say thank you so um, please do look in the comments because there's a lot of love that's been shared for for you and 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 as we close day number 326 of 365 days of awesome celebrate success for service coach Vicki you are an inspiration to me Thank you. personally and professionally you have been there and you've done it and you you listened also to your daughter and you gave an environment in your home that she felt inspired to 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 hear what was i'm sure some type of an inspiration to help a promise be kept and then because of the kind of person that you are the story you told today of the full circle is oh. such a testament to me that all things are possible, that, yes. that you just go out there and you don't give up. And, and then you keep working at it. And is everything easy? No, not everything is. But is it worth it? You have definitely shared with us today that oh. truly it is. And you are an inspiration. And I thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate you. Uh, and um, I know through our working together, greater mighty things will, will happen. I'm very, oh, yeah. I'm very uh, positive about that. Oh, yeah. I have no doubt. None, none, none. Watch out, guys. Yeah. We are going to do this together. So if anybody wants to join, in chemo buddies for life we do have a big event that we're preparing for for giving tuesday and i am looking for volunteers and we can work with people throughout the world because we're working through the world wide web so please get to us if you're interested because we are going to change the way cancer is done one buddy at a time yes. thank you thank you so Go much Go out there and make it a great day, guys. Uh, down under, a great day. Here, have a great evening. <laughs> Bye. Bye.